Yeah, just put your number in. All right, well, I gotta go drop off my stuff. See ya. Five minutes later. Your YouTube videos. Hey, what's going on? So uh, someone showed me one of your YouTube videos. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you recognize me or? No. All right, it was nice okay. to meet you. Mason, I'm gonna get these two girls too. I'm honestly thinking about getting that tattooed on my testicles. It's her Instagram bio. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm new. You're new? Yeah. Can you spell that? No, like, that's not my name. <laughs> what? Have a good day, buddy. Hey. Hey. What's your name, man? Nick. I'm gonna prank this chick right now in the black oh, okay. sweater. Mason? Black shirt? Watch this. Yo. Yeah. Um, I was just talking to my friend. You look really familiar. Uh, what's your name? Molina. Mol oh, definitely not. Yeah, I I'm, I'm John. You. You're, Hi. you look very warm, man. Yeah. I don't have a pickup. Do you have a pickup line for me, buddy? No, I'll pull my head. <sighs> I don't have a pickup line. What year are you guys in? Second year. Nice. Yeah. Year. Your fourth year. Yeah. <laughs> buddy. What year are you? You want to get iced coffee sometime? Yeah. Do you want my number? Yeah. Put it in there. <sighs> Can't believe you couldn't help me out with a pickup line, man. Oh no. I'm bad on the spot. <laughs> yeah. So. You live in a house. Boys, girls, welcome back to another video. I am fired up today. I'm excited for this one because this is one of those videos that I just had to drop everything I'm doing and just go, okay, I got to record this. Whatever I'm feeling right now, I got to catch it. I got to put it in a bottle. I got to turn it into a video. So today's premise is momentum is the new crack. That's right, boys. I can't even do that. I'll get demonetized, but momentum is so powerful. It's the thing that I believe keeps the world running. It's what makes people confident. It's what makes people accomplish great things. It's what keeps businesses going, rivers flowing and wind blowing. It's the fucking bee's knees, the end all be all. And here's why. So a little bit of a clickbait title, guys. Obviously, you shouldn't smoke crack. That goes without saying. Don't smoke crack. I've never actually smoked crack. In a video a couple years ago during homecoming, some random dude gave me a crack pipe and he's like, bro, hit this, it's crack. And I knew it wasn't crack. I was a little bit drunk, but obviously it wasn't actually crack. But then in the video, I played up like, oh, it could have been crack. I don't know, because again, guys, I'm an entertainer and I'm making comedy videos. <laughs> I'm wearing a crown with a bunch of drunk people that are passing me random things. As it turns out, it's called like Dakri or Dothra or something. It's like a... Arabic tobacco. But the point I'm making is I don't know what it's like to actually experience a crack high, but I definitely know what it's like to experience a fake high, as in an artificial high, something where a certain substance goes in your body and then everything just gets lit up like a Christmas tree. Another example of that would be sugar because sugar actually lights up the same part of your brain that other illicit substances do as well. And that's research backed. Now I'll get to those feelings later on in the video, but right now I'm gonna talk about momentum and how good momentum feels. Oh boy. Looking back, it's kind of funny because I still remember the early days of when I made YouTube videos and I would only get a couple hundred views. And those first couple 10, 15 likes, I was like, oh my God, this feels amazing. And then that turned into a thousand views, a thousand views, holy fuck. And then 10,000, 20,000, next thing you know, 100,000 views, and then you got a video go viral. And we're talking like a million plus views. And it just was rolling and rolling and everybody's hitting you up like, bro, I saw this video and there, and I shared it with all my friends and dude, look at all these fight. Like it takes over your body. It's like this uh, feeling that runs through you. Hey, whatever you're doing is working and you got to run with it. And then because every time you keep going forward and pushing with it, you get more and more of whatever it is you're doing. So like if you're in a basketball game and you just start sinking fucking balls, you start just hearing swoosh, nothing but net. You keep shooting and shooting and all of a sudden you have like this adrenaline rush, your blood's flowing and you're just zinging all these balls in and you can't lose, man. A famous example of that was a guy named Jeremy Lin a couple of years ago and scoring all these points every single game and he had all this momentum. But we'll get to this later again. That momentum did not last. So the power of momentum is amazing. And it doesn't have to be some extreme example like getting viral views on YouTube or TikTok or having one of the best games of all time in a professional sport when everything is on the line. It doesn't have to be at that extent. Momentum can be something that is much smaller. Let's say that you're a fat, lazy, depressed, dopamine fucking addict loser that's watching YouTube videos right now and you put your phone and your computer on black and white. When you put your phone on in black and white, all the colors are gone and it makes looking at the computer and phone a lot more boring. When it's more boring, you use it less. And when you use it less, all of a sudden, 
You find time to go to the gym. <gasps> Imagine that, guys. Exercising. You know you should, but you don't do it. Wow. Not just that, but eating healthy, reading, doing work, finding ways to actually do what you want to for a living, as opposed to letting the universe blow you around wherever it takes you. But taking you into a position where you have a lack of control because you haven't put in any of the work, right? It's so easy for people to just get stuck in like a shit job, shit dating results, no friends, bad habits. And then they're like, oh my God, I'm so depressed. Like women, the problem's women, man. Women are bitches. Ugh. It's so easy for you to fall into that. So if you can start to break that by performing good habits, you'll get momentum. Each day you do a good habit, the next day it's easier. So here's a minor example for you guys. My neck has been very stiff because I've been doing a lot of writing and editing lately. So I've been at my computer for like hours every day and I was just hunched over this fucking computer and it really hurt my neck. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start working on my neck because I want to improve my posture and make my neck feel better. So I started doing neck workouts for the last two or three days and I'm three days in now, three days in a row on top of my current workout. I'm doing neck exercises as well. And my neck is starting to feel much better. And now I'm excited to do neck later today along with my other workout. And the point I'm making is all it took was a couple days in a row until now it feels good. Now I have momentum. And oftentimes you guys are waiting to be inspired to do something, to start doing something. You push it off until you fucking feel good. Blah, blah, blah. I know, I know, I've been there. But the point is once you start doing it, each time you do it, it feels a little bit better. And then... As the results start to come in, all of a sudden, not only is it good for you that you're doing it because it benefits you, but now you enjoy doing it. So an example of that would be, let's say working a job to make money, but you hate the job, right? It's not that fun, but you're making money. So it benefits you. But now you're making that same amount of money, maybe more money, but you're doing what you enjoy. So now you're benefiting yourself by making money, but you're also doing something that you really like. That feels fucking amazing, guys. It's like crack, okay? So so everybody, when they think of crack, they're like, oop, bad for you, addictive, right? But they know like whatever it is, that shit is strong. It's powerful. It just sucks people in because it's like this artificial thing that just hooks us. It makes people addicted to it. I want you guys to be addicted to momentum. I know what it's like to have extreme momentum. I also know what it's like to have no momentum at all. And I would take momentum any day of the fucking week over no momentum because Momentum makes you do things so much more powerfully. The best example I could give you guys is like a snowball going down a hill. You could take the snowball on flat ground and you just have to keep rolling it. But the whole time you're just putting in all this effort, right? All this effort, you're pushing the snowball. It's getting bigger, but like it's killing you, right? And then finally you push it to the edge of the hill. Now it's going down the hill. So gravity is working with it and that ball's rolling and it's getting bigger on its own, right? And all of a sudden you have this huge fucking ball getting bigger, but you're still at the top of the hill. You don't have to be pushing it. You don't have to be chasing it. It has taken off on its own. It's like starting a fire. You spark it. You have to get a bunch of fucking sticks and bullshit. And you got to blow on it, you know, rub some rocks together, blah, blah, blah. But then that fire's going, you just put logs in it. That's momentum, baby. And momentum is fucking good. Honestly, if that analogy didn't work for you, then you're a fucking bonehead, okay? But I hope that it did. It makes so much sense in my head. That's the best way I can put it on paper. And what's good about momentum is now we have this exponential increase. So if you go one to two subscribers, you're like, oh, that's nothing, man. I only have two subscribers. But one million to two million subscribers, that's a big fucking difference. But here's the thing. There's no real difference percentage-wise. One to two is still 100% increase, just like one million to two million is. But... Once you get bigger, more views, more subscribers, more money, whatever the thing is that you're measuring is, it gets bigger exponentially based on momentum. And it takes off and then you get desired results, outcome. But it reinforces whatever behavior it is that you are doing that gets you those results, which makes you feel good in getting these results. And that's how people go from here to there. And it might be like this for years, but once it takes off, it's right? All right, guys. So if you want to know my framework for approaching and talking to girls naturally and confidently, getting them attracted to you, having amazing conversations, amazing interactions, getting their phone numbers, going on dates, having casual hookups, or getting a girlfriend, then you need to check out my social masterclass. I made a video course that teaches you how to do absolutely everything that you see in these videos, plus so much more. And then you will be able to transform your dating life and get the same results that me and thousands of my other clients have. 
that sounds like something you'd be interested in, click the link in the description below to learn more. I've seen lots of UFC, kickboxing, boxing fights over the years, and nothing beats a guy that's getting his fucking ass kicked, and then in the fifth round, all of a sudden, he gets a little bit of momentum. One of the shots he lands breaks through the guard of his opponent, rocks them. All of a sudden, when all was lost, he's four rounds down, his opponent's fucking wobbled or they're gassed. And now is his chance to win the fight back. He hits him once. Holy shit, I rocked him. Hits him again. Holy shit, I connected a second time. You get like this extra juice in your body. Like, oh, and I know what it's like because I've been in a fight before <laughs> and I was getting my fucking ass kicked. And then I connected clean and then I connected clean again. And it's like, boom, turbo engines go off. And you're like, oh, fuck, I got him hurt. And then you just keep going. And obviously, guys, don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get too sloppy or you'll get countered and get fucked up. But I ended up pulverizing the guy and I won the fight. And, you know, this was in like fucking school. So it doesn't really matter. Totally different than a professional fight. But there's so many great examples of fights where a guy is just getting his ass handed to him. And then all of a sudden, after he keeps pushing and trying and he's showing resilience, toughness and heart, he fucking connects. Maybe he gets a takedown, he gets a submission or my favorite, he rocks the guy and then he just unleashes a fucking combination from hell. Bigfoot Silva versus Alistair Overeem. Yushin Okami versus Tim Bosch. Darren Elkins versus that fucking guy. I don't even remember his name, but he just dusted this dude in the third round. Once one shot landed, the other landed, and now the opponent's rocked. Now you're warmed up. Boom, boom, boom. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video so far and it's getting you fired up, you're inspired, you're motivated, but you're also learning something, I want you guys to scroll down and just hit the subscribe button, turn the bell on. That way, every time I upload a new video, you get notified. I have a bunch of other videos like this on this channel, and it's super useful for dating advice, self-improvement, and other videos just like this. Now, I'll close off by sharing an important story with you. I have a buddy named Psych Substance, Adam, and he has this whole channel that's dedicated to experimenting with different substances. And it's very educational and recreational because he does it in a format that teaches people. And this summer, I helped him out doing a bunch of videos. And I would basically be his human lab rat. I would sit there and then he would give me something. And then I would talk about how it made me feel. And it was really good because it's educational for those that are also experimenting with that kind of thing as opposed to going in there blind. So as somebody that doesn't take substances and doesn't enjoy them, like I really like being sober, I participated in these videos and I felt what it was like to be very stimulated, to be high, so to speak. And it's weird because depending what you do, your whole body will feel very different, oftentimes very, very good. And you have this sense of like extreme confidence, motivation. You feel like you can do anything. You feel like nothing bothers you, everybody loves you, all is well, you're just at total peace, and you're like Superman, basically. But then you come down afterwards, and you actually feel the reverse of that. You feel bad, you feel empty, you feel depressed, because those things were artificially added to your body, and they weren't made from within. Point I'm making is, I know what that feeling's like, and the closest thing I could compare it to would be having extreme momentum. Like, it's your birthday, all your friends are there, you had a video go viral, you just made a fuck ton of money, you won a fight, made a joke and a bunch of people laughed. And if you can find out a way to get that same feeling, that dopamine, that adrenaline, whatever it is, through doing something that not only benefits you, but you also enjoy it, then you're gonna get momentum and you're gonna keep doing it over and over and over again. And then you'll be successful and you'll be motivated and driven that entire time. So for those of you that lack motivation, just know that it is possible for you to do it. You might not have it right now. You always in the front have to put in work when you don't have momentum, when you don't have motivation, but over time, you will continue to get momentum and you will be successful. And it's a good feeling. When I first started my YouTube channel ever, no momentum, and then boom, it fucking took off. This channel right now, I'm putting up pranks, but I'm also putting up all these advice and inspiration and self-help videos, and they're starting to take off. I'm starting to get way more engagement, more views. Everybody's loving it, multiple uploads a week. It's powerful, it's fucking momentum. And that's what motivates me to keep doing it. If I wasn't getting immediate success, I would keep doing it because I have experience. And you know, this isn't my first rodeo, but the momentum helps so much. It fires me the fuck up. I hope you guys got inspired by that. If this video did fire you up and motivate you, I want you to share it with all your boys. Why aren't your boys in the comment section leaving comments, all right? That's the question. Send this to your fucking buddies. Let's get them fired up and motivated too. And we're all gonna take over the world, boys. All right, join the Discord. Next video to watch after this is right there. Go fuck yourself. If you need better and faster dating results, you can apply for a one-on-one -on -one call with me by clicking the link in the description below.